Hi, my name is Eric Conley. I'm the Garrett County 4-H Youth Development Agent. Over the last several weeks, I've had the opportunity to come out and really show off Kentucky forests in a different way. You all know that we have 120 to 130 different species of trees in the state of Kentucky. We have this beautiful diversity of trees in Kentucky, but the things that I've come out to look at are the things that we find underneath the trees, the forest floor. And primarily what I'm talking about are the spring wildflowers. We talk about growing season as far as wildflowers are concerned. We're talking about a season between March all the way through September. Uh, but I wanna focus on our spring wildflowers and that kind of limited season when we go from essentially the middle of March all the way kind of to the middle to the end of May. Uh, after that, you're still gonna find uh, definitely wildflowers are gonna be in bloom. You're gonna find some of our most incredible and some of our most endangered species of wildflowers that are actually gonna bloom following that period but I wanna focus on this time right now. So this section of From the Woods, uh, we're gonna take a look at some of the things that you're gonna find underneath the canopy on the forest floor here, some of our beautiful display and diversity of spring wildflowers. Now, while we have so many wildflowers or while we have this great diversity of wildflowers in Kentucky, it really just comes down to a couple of different factors. Number one, when you think about the geography of Kentucky and where it is. So if you imagine the United States of America and you start up in Maine and you come all the way about halfway down, right there in the middle, you're gonna get Kentucky. If you come from Florida all the way up, you're gonna get Kentucky. And so Kentucky is this really unique state because we have uh, we get a lot of species that it's their northern terminus uh, or northern terminus and we also get a lot of species that it's their southern terminus. So that means that we get this really beautiful diversity of wildflowers because of where we fall on the map. The other reason is is because when you think about the topography of Kentucky, the topography of Kentucky, if you go from Black Mountain uh, in far eastern Kentucky and you work your way through Kentucky and you get into rolling hills and plateaus and flat areas as you move into western Kentucky and the western coal fields uh, and then uh, even a small section of western Kentucky is in the area that we call the coastal plains and you heard me right, coastal. So we have a small, a small physiographic section of Kentucky that actually we consider kind of coastal. So when you think about all of that different elevation and within that you're going to get uh, soil differences and geologic differences, with all of that going on in Kentucky, that means that we're going to have a beautiful, beautiful display and an extremely diverse display of wildflowers uh, throughout our state, throughout the Commonwealth. So I'm excited because, uh, I, like I said, over the last couple of weeks, I've had the opportunity to come out and kind of show off some of these things. Uh, they may be things that you, as you pass by on the roadway, that you don't have the opportunity to see, uh, or you may not have them in your backyard. But I'm hoping that with this section of From the Woods and the things that I've been doing through Gary County 4-H called On the Ground, that I can show you all some of the most beautiful and some of the most diverse plants that you'll find. Well, this is one of my favorite families of plants, uh, the orchids. The orchids are really incredible plants. In Kentucky, we have 33 different species of orchids, okay? 19 different genera, all right? so and most of the orchids that we have, more than 50% of them are in some level of distinction, which means that they are either endangered or threatened or of special concern of some kind. And generally that's because of habitat loss or it's because uh, people come in and dig them up or destroy uh, the plant. So, um, so orchids are really just amazing. Uh, incredibly specialized because they generally have to have what is called a mycorrhizal fungal relationship in order to survive. So this is not the only orchid I'm gonna show you all during this edition of uh, From the Woods. So I'm hoping that you all are excited, as excited as I am when we get the chance to see these beautiful, beautiful flowers. Another common wildflower that we see in a lot of woodlands across Kentucky is this one that you see here. This is called Mayapple. 
It's really common. It comes in basically two different forms. You'll see one that's split like this, and this one will have the flower on it. And then the one, if you see this one right behind, uh, this one just has a single stalk. This one actually belongs in the barberry family, okay? And the scientific name for the May apple is Podophyllum peltatum. And the scientific name tells us a lot about the plant. So peltate, what that means is, is that the leaf is actually like an umbrella. So it will have a single stalk and uh, right in the middle of it, the leaf will kind of hang uh, around either side of it. Really a cool plant, beautiful white flower that you see here, only you find it on the ones that are split. And the other thing about this one is this, when this one goes to fruit, it has a, a green fruit that is one of the favorite foods of Eastern box turtles. Cool. <laughs> Look at this flower. This is so beautiful. As I was driving past, I saw it up on the hillside and I could not help but stop. This one is actually called fire pink, okay? It's in the pink family, uh, Caryophyllaceae, and it doesn't look pink at all. It's a beautiful, bright fire engine red. And this is one that's really gonna stand out in the woodlands uh, anytime that you're out. Uh, it does like kind of wet forests. Uh, you'll see it sometimes on rocky outcrops and things like that, but it is really just a gorgeous, gorgeous flower. Now, I've mentioned families. Uh, as you look at plants and you can start to understand or see characteristics of plants uh, through the, the lens of a family, you can start to pick out characteristics that are going to help you uh, identify them as you go out in the field and you do some of your own exploration. Look at this beautiful flower, this kind of lavender pink flower that you see here. This is called wild geranium, okay? It's actually in the family Geraniaceae, okay? And <clears throat> just, uh, it, it's another flower that you're going to see. It's very common, uh, you know, you'll find it in the woodlands. It loves kind of moist areas. He's kind of what we call mesic areas. And... Um, the other cool thing that I always am intrigued by is where the names come from. So geranium, uh, geranos is a Greek word, G-E-R-A-N-O-S, and it meant crane. Some of the members of the wild geranium family are called crane bills because of the, the seed or uh, when it goes to seed, what it'll look like. So, uh, you know, if you get the chance and you're out and you have access to uh, either the internet or uh, maybe some, some books or things like that, always take the time to look and see where the names come from because uh, it's, it, it helps you learn a little bit. It gives you something to reflect back on, and it's just super cool. So, Geranos, Crane, this is Wild Geranium. So, I thought I would stop here and show you this little flower here. This is called Yellow Wake Robin or uh, Yellow Toadstool. It is actually one of our trilliums. We have 11 different trilliums in the state of Kentucky. Really amazing flowers. Uh, you see these things, and we always think these are our, our leaves that are here. These are actually bracts, okay? So that's a part of the, the floral structure of this. Generally, trillium, T-R-I-L-L-I-U-M. So T-R-I, meaning three. So when you hear that, triple or anything else, you think trillium, all right? So it's got uh, three bracts, it's got the three petals, the floral structure on the inside. Like I said, this one is yellow wake robin, and you can find trillium in all different forms. Mostly the one that we see, especially here in this part of the state, is called sessile trillium, but you can find them all the way up at the highest elevations in Kentucky, all the way down uh, along the creek side. So really a beautiful flower, and they actually have a cool seed dispersal. So uh, they are seed dispersal is what is called myrmecockery, and myrmecockery means that ants actually take their seeds in, and they're the ones that plant the seeds for them. So isn't that really cool? Kentucky spring wildflowers. So this is the last flower that I'll show you. And I, I wanna say thank you to Laurie and for having me do this. This has really been an incredible experience. I'm, I, I love wildflowers so much. The springtime is obviously my favorite season and I get the chance to come out and see some of the cool things that Kentucky has to offer. Uh, so the last flower I'll show you, this is called yellow lady slipper and it's one of the orchids. 
and uh, we have five different, kind of five different uh, lady slippers in the state of Kentucky. This is the large yellow lady slipper. This is Cypripedium parviflorum variation pubescens, okay? Uh, and uh, you can see it's, it's pretty tall, and it's really just a beautiful, uh, beautiful wildflower. We, uh, the other lady slippers, we have the large yellow lady slipper. We have a small yellow lady slipper. We have a pink lady slipper. We have a white lady slipper. And then we have the Kentucky lady slipper, which is uh, actually a really big, uh, a big flower. And so uh, we do have another one that is uh, historically found in Kentucky, but it's called the showy lady slipper. And we haven't seen it in forever. And so I hope that someday uh, we have uh, populations that come back. So uh, I just wanted to spend a, a few seconds and just tell you thank you and get out and if you have the chance, uh, explore. Uh, there's a lot of really cool apps and references and resources that you can get back to and, and find out all the cool things that you have growing, maybe not in your yard, uh, but maybe in some of the forests around Kentucky that you have the chance to get out and see. But like I said in the beginning, my name is Eric Conley. I'm the Garrett County 4-H Youth Development Agent. And if you have any questions for me, feel free to reach out to me at eric.comley, C-O-M-L-E-Y at uky.edu. Uh, or you can reach me at uh, the Gary County 4-H Facebook page. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I've surely enjoyed it. Thank you so much. This is From the Woods.